Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a minute since I've seen you guys, but you know I'm back. We're going into the new year, 2019. Let's get it. So today, that was so corny. Whatever. So today I'm just going to be dyeing my hair purple. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like this weird, like, I mean, it's black. Majority is like majority of it's black, but like the top has some blondes left over because my hair was just previously blonde and I grew it out for a couple months and then slicked it down, but it was getting too long for me. So, so with that being said, I just got a haircut yesterday and I let it sit for a while because you can't cut your hair and then put bleach on top of it because my scalp would burn. So. I'll be right back. The stuff that I'll be using today, um, as always, when you're bleaching your hair, you want to do a mixing bowl with the little spoon. Not the spoon. You want to do the mixing bowl with the brush. So I have that, and I got these from Sally's. Then I have my 30 volume developer, and I use the Superstar brand. Honestly, like, this is the really cheap kind. Like, this bottle only cost me, like, less than $2. But it has not failed me, and it lasts for a pretty good amount of time. And then I'm using the Clairol BW powder. It was $2.49 at the beauty supply store. Um, this is the powder that I always use, but I will say that recently I used... The Quick Blue Powder by L'Oreal, and I actually really like that, so. But yeah, I'm going to be using these together, and I'm going to be bleaching my hair twice today because I want the color to be light. This is the color that I'm going to be using today. It is the Adore um, Semi-Permanent. Is this Semi-Permanent? Yep. The Adore Semi-Permanent Dye in Lavender. And... It's supposed to be pastel, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix in like a little bit of, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of my OGX coconut, coconut milk conditioning cream, um, just to lighten the color a little bit because I've used Adore before. I used their pastel pink and I just like dyed my hair straight off the bottle and y'all literally was hot pink. So I'm gonna have to dilute this with some of this. So first what I'm going to be doing is putting Vaseline around my hairline just so my I don't bleach my skin. When I first dyed my hair, this was like trial and error, but you know, as you just keep going, you know better. So, cut some. And then I'm going to be taking a Q-tip just to get my part. And usually I'll use gloves, but actually, yeah, usually I use gloves. I feel like it's kind of easier and then sometimes I'll just take the glove and then just wipe it on my head, but I don't need gloves, so... That sucks. Okay, so I have my bowl, powder. So basically when you're mixing up bleach, first of all, just be careful that you don't get any anywhere and wear a shirt that you don't mind getting dirty. Um, I'm just gonna be pouring in my powder. I don't really do measurements. That's not really my team. Um, but basically what you want to go for when you're mixing bleach is doing, just making sure that it is a yogurt consistency. So I just put this much bleach in it. I'm just going to pull off. Okay. Let's mix. And be careful when you're mixing too because the bleach literally flies. But it's a perfect amount of developer and now it kind of looks like this consistency. Like yogurt. So. 
And since this is 30 volume developer and I'm bleaching my hair twice, I'm probably just going to leave this first little bit on just for like 20 minutes. Just to see what the color is looking like. And since my hair is pretty short, I'm not going to be using a lot of bleach. All right, so now that that's done, it is 12.08. I will take it off at 12.28, so I'll be back. Okay, so I'm done dyeing my hair, or I'm done bleaching. It is now this color. I think I did a pretty successful job. Um, the only thing is that my edges didn't really bleach that well, and I put bleach there like twice and it just didn't take so whatever I don't care um so now that that's done oh and I bleached it twice by the way the first time I put it on for 20 minutes and then the second time I did 30 so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my lavender cleaned out my bowl and I'm just gonna Put this much. I'm not gonna put a lot though because you see how dark that is? If I put that on my hair, it's gonna come out like dark purple and I'm not trying to have that, so. I got my conditioner. I'm just gonna put a little dual up, a dollop. I did that, let's mix. Okay, there it goes. I still think it's a little dark, and honestly, if it comes out too purple, I'm just gonna wash it with some sulf, um, with shampoo that has sulfate in it, but let's do this.
All right, so I got a majority of my head. I'm about to put more on, and then I'm going to put a plastic bag over my head and probably leave it on for about 45 minutes just because I want the color to like really penetrate my hair. So yeah, let's do that. All right, so I said I'm gonna leave that on for 45 minutes. It's 1.30, so 2.15. You are Okay, guys, so here is the finished product. It came out literally perfect. Like, this is crazy because literally like, like I said in one of my last videos, I first cut my hair in July and ever since I cut it, I've been trying to color it and I literally just could not get it. But like I said throughout this video, dyeing your hair is just trial and error. You just have to figure it out. If you don't feel like paying like enormous amounts of money, you just gotta figure out what's best for you and eventually you'll get it. And I did it. Um... I don't know what color I want to do next. Like, I'm digging the purple a lot, but I was thinking, like, maybe, like, hot pink. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.